Incoming British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak spoke moments ago about the task he faces as he's set to become the UK's third prime minister in just seven weeks. Sunak, the country's former finance minister, will be the first prime minister of color in British history and the youngest in more than a century. And he'll take the helm at a time of political and economic chaos. NBC's Molly Hunter is now with us from London. So, Molly, what's next for Rishi Sunak? A very, very big job, Lindsay. Look, I just want to play some sound for you actually right away. We just heard from new incoming Prime Minister Rishi Sunak just moments ago. He delivered a very short statement on camera. I think we've got that sound for you. I just want to share it with our audience and I'll talk to you on the back end. I am humbled and honored to have the support of my parliamentary colleagues and to be elected as leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. It is the greatest privilege of my life to be able to serve the party I love and give back to the country I owe so much to. Now, he went on, Lindsay, to say, I will make it my utmost priority to bring our party and our country together. What we've seen in the last four days, Lindsay, just to be crystal clear, was not a general election. Uh, Brits did not go to polls. This was a leadership contest within the ruling party of the conservative uh, ruling party. Excuse me. Rishi Sunak was the only candidate to get over 100 backers, over 100 fellow members of parliament to support him. So he definitely has a mandate within his own party, within MPs in the conservative party. What we don't know is whether he has that mandate within conservative parties in the country. And we certainly know when you look at uh, this divided country right now, the majority of people in the UK actually support the opposition, the Labour Party. As far as what happens next, we're not going to see Rishi Sunak likely walk through number 10 today. What has to happen is that, of course, outgoing Prime Minister Liz Truss has to go to Buckingham Palace to meet with King Charles and formally resign. Of course, we just saw her take the job uh, from Queen Elizabeth just six and a half weeks ago, Lindsay, in the Queen's final public appearance. So we will see Liz Trust go meet with King Charles immediately after that. Rishi Sunak will then meet with King Charles. We do not expect that today. It could happen later today. We do not have exact timings, but likely sometime in the next 24 hours. And then the king will ask Rishi Sunak to form a government. And then we're off to the races. We will start to see cabinet appointees. Lindsay, really quickly, I just want to bring your attention. We're really watching uh, the defense minister post, that is Ben Wallace, and the finance minister post, that is Jeremy Hunt. Both of those very, very busy day jobs, of course, with the war in Ukraine. And as this country faces a looming economic crisis with inflation over 10 percent, people are very, very worried about the financial and economic stability. Sunak has his work cut out for him. Molly Hunter, thank you.